The heavy rain Saturday night came as a big disappointment to race fans who were hoping for a possible track record. By the three quarters, it's Gimbal, it had been a week of good weather and speed. On. It's Gimbo, the papermaker. Second luck is coming on. Gimbo, second luck. Gimbo is on top. Second luck is coming on. It's going to be Gimbo. Last Saturday, Gimbo, with Mike McDonald in the bike, won the first Gold Cup trial in 157-1, and one, just two-fifths off the track record. Feeler Hanover is turning it on. 130 by the three quarters. Feeler Hanover now by three. West in Miracle Racing second. Schiller Phantoms coming up on the outside. Through the stretch, right down to the wire. It's Feeler Hanover. Feeler Hanover on top and pacing away. Schiller Phantom second. Third. Then Monday, McDonald drove Feeler Hanover to victory in the second trial in a time of 158. That forced McDonald to make a decision over what horse he'd drive in the Gold Cup. Dealer Hanover. Tough decision for you to make? Well, it is, but I, I own the other horse. Like, you know, it's, it's not that tough to make. This horse here, uh, th I don't know if this horse can go faster than the other horse, but this horse, you know, is better every week than the other horse. The other horse is a real nice horse, but, you know, he comes up sometimes with a bad race here and there. And I know that, you know, this horse may get beat, but, you know, you'll know he'll come up with the same race he always does. But Tuesday night, CDP officials met with Ian Smith, the owner of Beeler Hanover, and he was convinced to change drivers so all the best horses could run in the big race. We, uh, we asked uh, Ian to make the decision, you know, you know, to put somebody else on that. Uh, I can see Ian's point here. Mike is a, you know, a high caliber driver. He'd like to have a high caliber driver on the horse. With that sorted out, race fans could look forward to an outstanding race to cap a great week at the CDP. The overall wager for the week was up almost $100,000 over last year's record. But Saturday night, it rained. And not just a few sprinkles either. There were four separate downpours. That sent people running for cover. And it made the track almost five seconds slower. But with the arrival of the Gold Cup girls and the singing of the island hymn by Faith McKenney, the weather took a back seat to the big race. Consistency in a racehorse is a factor of greatness, and our next entry is 1-9 of his 15 starts in the Maritimes this year, pacing here in 159, and winning twice in 156 in Fort Champlain. Pacing winning trips in the 159 range around the Maritimes, this animal has the looks of a true champion. Royally read by American style Abercrombie, this Alan Stanley and Omer G. Group. Dr. Ian Moore drives the paper maker. Prophetic words from track announcer Kevin Gallant, the papermaker would later prove just how great a champion he really is. The three-horse Beeler Hanover was the better's favorite. Gimbel, going from the outside in seven, was the second choice. The papermaker was a six-to-one bet when the feature went to post. Here they come! They're up and uh, pacing a second look quickly away to tack them into there, the papermaker Beeler Hanover. Kimball is up four wide on the outside as they race into the first turn. Yes, second look going to the top. Beeler Hanover's up two on the outside. Racing along the rail. Third is the papermaker. Kimball is racing fourth. Battle on up front as they race to the opening quarter. Yes, Beeler Hanover showing on top outside. Second look, there goes Gimbal up on the outside, now fourth. The papermaker racing from four. In five is Maple Grove, Shadow Schiller, Phantom. And the Western Miracle trails 29 and one by the opening quarter. Gimbal on the outside is coming to the top as they swing off the top turn. It's Gimbal pacing to the front. Beeler Hanover now racing a second. Second luck looks out at third. The papermaker racing fourth. They're halfway home. And it's Gimbal, your leader by here. Beeler Hanover racing second. Second look looks out at third. The papermaker fourth. Maple Grove Shadow Shuler Phantom. There goes Weston Miracle from the back. They go by the 5 8 59 and 1 by the half. And it's Gimbal taking them by the 5 8 down the box stretch they go to the three quarters. Gimbal on top by two. Beeler Hanover gets closer second, and there he goes up on the outside. 
second lock to paper maker down along the rail. They're by the three quarter mile mark. And it's Gimbal, the paper maker down along the rail. The paper maker's on top. Gimbal, Steeler Hanover's coming on. Three wide as they swing for home. The paper maker, Gimbal and Beeler Hanover, their heads apart. 131 by the three quarters. It's the paper maker on top. The paper maker's coming home. Steeler Hanover, the paper maker's drawing away. The paper maker and Dr. Ian Moore win the gold. Cup and Saucer, Shiller, Phantom Second, Maple Grove Channel Third. A convincing Hanover, win Gimbal, for Ian Moore and the paper maker in a good time of 201 and 3 through the mud and Moore felt the track conditions did play a part in the outcome. Well, this is the first time we've raced this horse in the mud, and Henry Smallwood, who had the horse for the last few years, told me that he was good in the mud, so he was today. It was an upset win for the paper maker, but a popular one, and it was a satisfying moment for Ian Moore and Miss Gold Cup and Saucer 1988, Rhonda Peters.